everyone, these are some handstand drills that you can be working on at home to help your gymnastics out. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is the most basic kind of handstand. We do this a lot in our preschool classes. It is our donkey kicks. Working on getting comfortable with your feet leaving the ground. Strong arms pushing through those shoulders. So you can try switching legs, holding one up, can do both feet at the same time. All of those are great for building strength and confidence. All right. So next, from there, um, Molly is going to show us our lunge shape. This is what we do before and after all of our handstands. Notice how her arms are glued to her ears. Her front leg is a little bit bent. Her feet are forward. And if you look at her arms and her back leg, they make a full straight line. So if you cut off her front leg, the rest of her body is in a diagonal line. That's exactly what we want for our lunge shape. All right, so next, if you have stairs at home or even just a couple of couch cushions to um, step your feet up, this is our next level for working on our handstands. So Molly's gonna put her feet on the floor and try to keep her strong straight arms and walk her toes up, up, and up the steps. She can try to hold that shape. She can even try to pick a foot up. She's always gonna walk back down safely though to her feet. Now, if she didn't have straight arms, what would that look like, Molly? If she walked all the way up with straight arms and then they got tired, ugh, that does not feel good. So if you start to get tired, just make sure you walk your feet back down. Um, all right, so the next level of that, we have some hands on the floor. You know, we have those at the gym, but you might not have those at home, that's okay. This is just for showing you where you can put your hands down on the floor and walk your toes up to a handstand shape. Now, the further your hands are from the wall, the easier it is, and the closer they are, it gets even harder. Our goal is to be as tall as we can be through our tummy and squeezing everything really, really straight. Hey, Miss Molly, really quick, can you show me what it looks like if you are not squeezing your tummy? What, what does it look like in a handstand shape? Ugh, yuck, we call that banana back sometimes. We wanna make sure that we're squeezing our tummy muscles and being as tall as we can be. Otherwise, that doesn't feel good on your back and it doesn't help you develop the proper handstand shape. All right, so next, do you remember that lunge we talked about before? Molly is gonna come back into her lunge shape, which if you notice, we have some feet and hands that we traced and cut out. Um, you could do this easily at home. You could use sidewalk chalk, whatever, if it helps you remember which foot to put in front. <laughs> So Molly is going to put her same foot in front. She's gonna put some bean bags up on her shoulders so once her arms go up, they'll go tucked into her ears with her arms up tall so they don't leave. Now, if you guys have socks at home that you can roll up into balls, those will work just fine. Um, anything that you can try to hold up there, maybe little stuffed animals. She is going to go from her lunge and try to stay really straight and go to the letter T with her body. Notice how her, uh, her body literally from the side looks like a letter T. That is working on going into her lever for her handstand and coming back up to her lunge. These are things that you can be working on. You can try to do five to 10 of them in a row in this awesome shape. Nice T shapes. Good. And you can leave the bean bags down or take them, it's up to you. Um, we're gonna go back over to those steps and go into our lunge shape. So, arms are up tall, feet are facing forward. Good, arms are by those ears. She's gonna do her T shape to the top step. She's gonna try to reach forward and T-shape, hold that foot up and back up to her lunge. Now, that was too easy for her. She's gonna try the next level. Big lunge, going to T-shape to the next level step. Notice how she went a little bit past the letter T and back up, that was awesome. She's gonna try one more time on the lowest level, trying to squeeze her back leg. Very tight, good, and arms coming up. You can be practicing all of those different levels um, at, on your stairs at home or just over the top of a couch cushion, which we have a green mat over here that looks kind of like a couch cushion. Um, so that's what it's representing. Yeah, back up. Um, so over here, she's gonna do a big lunge. Arms are up tall. This is her couch cushion, right? She's gonna go to her letter T and then she's gonna hop her foot up off the floor this time. Good, and all the way back up. Now we really wanna try to see the letter T on the way into her handstand, good and the way out to her lunge. So notice she kept that same foot in front the whole time. We do not switch our legs in the middle of our handstands. Ugh. Nope, we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna try really hard to land back on that front foot um, every time. Um, even if you aren't kicking your feet together, that's fine. 
Um, if you need to use some cutout feet or anything like that, that will help as well. Um, since Molly is so good at that one, she's gonna turn, I'm gonna turn this way so I can see a little better, um, and do a handstand on the floor now since she was able to hold herself up on that couch cushion. So she's gonna go lunge, T-shape, little split, and all the way back up. Woo, nice T-shape on the way out. Now, if that is too easy for you, you can try kicking all the way up at home. Um, however, I would just really make sure that you have a safe space or area at home to do this or someone around you to help you out. Um, all right, so if that stuff is too easy for you, we have some other challenges. Um, Molly can kick all the way up to her handstand, right? Um, so if you would like, you can try to hold that handstand as long as you can. Good, or go over to the wall. And from that handstand, you can try to kick up against the wall. If you're able to do that spider handstand for a long time that we did before, good. Ooh, getting fancy now and switching feet and coming on down. All right, so another option for a challenge in our handstands is to turn around, hands on the floor, walk her toes up to that spider handstand like she did before, but then see if she can walk sideways. Sideways one direction, sideways the other direction, walking back and forth on the wall and coming on down. All right, and the last one, which is really fun, she's gonna stand in a straddle with her hands on the floor. Okay. Yep, hands on the floor. And she's gonna lean her sh shoulders into the wall and she's gonna try to lift her straddle legs all the way up to her handstand and hold on slowly lower back down to her straddle. That's called our pressed handstand. And eventually we wanna be able to do that from the floor. But for now, that's where we start. All right, that's handstands.